Aggregation is actually a fairly recent uh, trend. You know, we've had in the past 15 years about 75% of all the cases of aggregation have happened. We're still learning a lot about it. So what this report tries to do is to provide an evidence-based policy advice on when ag aggregation is likely to be successful and how to make it successful. It doesn't come saying aggregation is good or aggregation is bad. It comes saying, look, aggregation is one possible tool. We've looked at these examples and this is what we found. One of the main findings is that aggregation does not bring along economies of scale all the time. Well, there are trade-offs and transaction costs associated with economies of scale. The report presents a number of important success factors. The most important one is to have clarity about the purpose of aggregation. What is the policy outcome you're looking for? Are you trying to save costs? Are you trying to improve services? Are you trying to get environmental externalities? If you skip the first uh, step, then you, you might not be able to achieve a successful aggregation. How do you design it in a way that's going to lead to success? We have 14 case studies that we've been really looking at in detail and really giving the recipe of what has been done in each of those 14 case studies, what has worked, what were the obstacles and how they were overcome. It provides the evidence base, the concrete examples, a roadmap, as well as a toolkit that I think would be very useful. I think this report really will help uh, people think through those issues.